and welcome back to the Hardcore Iron Man Progress series. Technically doing our first farm run right now with some oak saplings and some tomato seeds. Can't wait to get through, uh, well, the next five levels maybe? Also, never forget that at the start of your account you can buy pineapples at the charter, throw them in the compost bin here, get some free super compost going early on. All right, first farm run done. 24 farming picked up and it's time to open the winter talk crates yeah i mean all all of them they're coming open i'm streaming right now so some people will know the results before uh, youtube does for sure but it's not gonna stop me all right this is gonna take a little bit of time so Zero chance of time lapse or anything, but this is this is the starting loot in this tab. These are the starting seeds, and the only notable one is one Raynar. Let's see what we get. Shit, the first, the first crate, man. The f literally the first solo crate I opened. Are you kit? <laughs> What the fuck is that? Three pieces of pyro and a dragon axe. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, give me the placeholder. Dragon axe number two. Let's let's see it. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Out of here, steel axe. Nobody wants you. You've been replaced, okay? <laughs> Solo crate I have. We're gonna pop it open. Okay, is that a... Oh yeah, I'm starting to get magic seeds now that I'm getting spare pieces, right? So I got three warm gloves, three, 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 and two. Wow, that is insane. That's literally just from 31 solo kills. That I have three of everything except for the boots and shoes. Cash stack, 399k. So 300k from 18 solo crates, more or less. 17 to 18. Yeah, okay. Time to get started on these. This is the last 10. There they are. Two U seeds. That's nice. Toss those in. 873k cash stack. Okay. Okay, that's going to save me from a good bit of thieving. Let's see, resources. 143 magic logs. Pretty good. Um, Yeah, nothing else really standing out here. I like the silver ore and gold ore. It's going to get me some smithing levels soon. All these gems, tons of teleport jewelry. Wow, so many rubies. Okay. Um, yeah, let's actually just go to the seed tab. 23 Ranar seeds. Let's see, five Snapdragons, 33 Irrits. Those are pretty much the only standouts. We got four Magic seeds, 12 U seeds. And, um, oh, in terms of set pieces, I believe that I turned these in for even more um, crates, so I should probably go do that. All of the uh, the excess pieces that I have. Not the Bruma torches though, because these turn into magic seeds once they crack open. But um, I would like to see a Tome of Fire. I don't have one, I don't think. No. So um, that's something that I currently don't have. And herbs, Cadentines, 40 Ranars. Eh, just a, a little bit of this and that. These aren't so great. But uh, I mean, 100 Iris is nice. Yeah, that's what we're looking like. I do love this, and I absolutely love this. This is um, Warm Gloves turn into the Magic Seeds. Bruma Torches turn into Torstoles. The other four can be turned into Extra Supply Crates, is what they're called. And those are either 50 Burnt Pages or one roll of an item. So, pretty trash. I'll just hold on to these. I may turn them into Pages at some point if I ever get the Tome of Fire, but don't plan on going back to Winter Todd anytime soon. We are once again straying from Osiris's guide, and instead of training up to 42 mage, like it says fairly early on, doing that on uh, Moss Giants, we're doing mage training arena. That's because there are three unlocks I'd like to get out of the way, number one being Bones to Peaches, uh, number two being the Infinity Boots, and number three being the Mage's Book. 
I know a lot of people don't really care for the Mages book. They think the other two are, are pretty great, though. Um, I'm just going to get all three anyway, and eventually I will get the Master Wand as well. Uh, though that's not really a priority right now. So doing all of this should get me something like 700 to 750k Mage. That's about half of what I need to get to 77 for Super Glass Mank. And yeah, it's going to cost a ton. I'm just going to be working on it kind of piecemeal. And um, yeah, but for the time being, that's what I'm working on, being uh, throwing a good bit of money at this from Blackjacking and from Winter Tot. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we get up to. See, boys, this is the way you get crafting XP, like an absolute baller. Look at that, 33 to 40, no problem. And we're back with the completion of Elemental Workshop 2. Really wanted that smithing XP, and hey, let's also make a mind shield. Yeah, because that's a pretty good item. Um, still inching towards my uh, my current goal of 40 smithing. And that's going to be the end of day 10. I've been here for probably 3 hours, according to the wiki's rates. And with that, we've hit level 51 mage. Just 4 levels to go. About 54k XP to go. Should be able to knock that out tomorrow. Alright, last knockout. And there is 65 thieving acquired. So I can now move on to minifights. Give me that good XP per hour. Now on to day 12, and we're going to boost into the Mages Guild. Um, this is something that I didn't necessarily have to do, but I'm going to do it anyway, and that is, uh, I think it's at this guy. Oh, no, maybe at this guy. Yep, I'm going to buy full Mystic. So, hat top bottom and i think i don't need the gloves actually barrows gloves will replace those and i have a plan for the boots uh yeah that that was a lot of money so i got my first clue first hard clue from fishing and um coordinate clue wilderness uh just just go away finally received my first piece of the angler set yeah bank that I'm probably going to be here a while before I finish it up. Finally got another piece. There's the angler top, and we're now up to, I don't even know, like 21 or 22 kills. Or uh, completions. Okay, we finally get some luck. Now we're up to about 28 KC. There we go. Boots acquired. 3 out of 5. Oh, it's only 4 pieces, as I just learned. So, 3 out of 4. Next game. Back to back okay we got it full set complete it took like 29 or 30 kills finally complete yeah gotta shout it out to everybody nice and i've been working towards this for well most of the day and yesterday but bam it's a herbler level at random sure but skill total 1000 there we go well, I've spent most of the day so far fishing, uh, almost to level 77 there, almost 52 strength. Finally time to get started uh, doing some other things, getting some unlocks. And we're back on that questing grind, creature fanging straight down. Next one is going to be a pretty good quest, I think. I didn't quite uh, grab enough the first time, so this time I'm just getting a ton. Yeah. Also, don't be dumb like me and think that, hey, you have to... You have to kill the nature spirit again. No, you don't. It's only one time. Going and doing a bit of thieving whenever I can stand it, and nice. Fantastic quest to knock out Holy Grail. Giant prayer up to 32 and giant defense up to 33. That's a ton of total levels, but yeah, there's a quest coming up where I'm gonna gonna want those levels. And it is time to fight the big bad dragon zero problem now since i brought uh, such good food and time to remove the skull ba -ba. i was super worried about this fight but no problem give me that juicy xp 18.6k strength and defense strength is whatever but i want to see that defense level 53 strength picked up 40 defense that's perfect 
for, uh, yeah, Rune Armor. Don't think I'm going to buy it. think I'm going to go straight for a torso. Uh, but I do want to pick up the Green Dehyde Body. And that's a big one. Bon voyage. Done. Time to start my birdhouse runs. Something I've been putting off, but uh, yeah, I need to get on top of that. Okay, assuming I got this right, use the stew. Yeah, there we go. There's Evil Dave's part done. 7k cooking. Nice. Death to the Dorgashan complete. Very good. That means I have the bone crossbow unlocked. Level up to 29, which I needed 28 to use the bone crossbow. So, big unlock. And in case you didn't know, Bullseye Lantern for Tears of Guthix. Just come to this house here. It's south of the nursery on this side of Dorgish Khan. You can probably find it second floor. Yeah, you don't even need that much of a thieving level. Just need a lockpick. And there you go. You knock out that quest too. And on the start of day 14, we're going to get our first Slayer task. Let's see. 37 monkeys. Okay. And conveniently, monkeys was actually the last thing I needed for Rang and Bone Man. So that's done. So even though we already have... A bowl during Death of the Dorgashan. I guess you have to make another one, but there's Tears of Guthix. Okay, first Tears of Guthix done, 73 tiers, and give me them RC levels, right? Yeah, straight to 13. Wait, that's actually insane. So you get a thousand from the Abyss mini quest, and I got exactly a thousand from that run, so dead on 2000 XP. That's, that's so weird. So the next step in the Osiris guide was to get up to. 37 ranged and 18 slayer uh, went a little past that in terms of slayer levels so there's 21 and that is six tasks complete uh, time to go work on some more quests also 1091 total now oh I totally didn't notice but doing a birdhouse run 1100 total there we go and 65 cooking picked up time to go finish up Hasidious favor just been burning through all of the various cooking supplies that I had in my bank from uh, Wintertop and there's Max Hasidius' favorite. Took like 20 minutes. Almost got a free cooking level. Not bad. And there's Animal Magnetism completed. A little bit of various XPs. That's probably a Slayer level. Yeah. Ava's a tractor though. And this should be Spirit of the Elid done. Bam. 8k prayer. And I'm hoping that's 37. No, not quite. Not quite there. Uh, actually, no. I, I need to get 40 for something. But good enough. So I'm walking over here to Paul Nivnich to do a little bit of uh, blackjacking and spinning image of myself. I mean, that's crazy. So if I use this on him, that'll be freeing Pirate Pete taken care of. That unlocked the underwater gear for me so I can now start farming giant seaweed. Uh, going to start working on that, working towards uh, various crafting goals. And with that, that's the end of this one. I know it's been kind of short and only covered a few days, but that's just kind of how I'm going to play it now. I'm not just going to do a weekly thing anymore. I um, think there was a fair amount of content there, though, and big progress taken care of in this video. Big progress still coming up. Uh, I've actually been taking a few days off streaming currently because I'm still sick. Um, don't know if you can really hear it, but, uh, it, it's kind of mild, but I have a bad sore throat going, so I don't really want to be speaking too much. Um, and definitely not leaving the house, uh, making sure to be as safe as possible. So with that, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. On to the next one.